Ritual USA. In this video, we will show you how to assemble the Ritual Expandable Pet Crate. Before you begin assembly, please make sure to read the assembly manual thoroughly, as it contains important safety warnings and assembly tips. Prior to installation, make sure to place this product in a safe area. Please note that there are some steps in the assembly process that might require two people to help with the assembly. Start the assembly by checking the parts list. Verify that the following parts are included with your assembly. Check the assembly for the following hardware. A Phillips head screwdriver is recommended for this installation. Step 1. Attaching the panels. You can assemble your expandable pet crate in multiple sizes. The crate can have a minimum width of 35.4 inches and a maximum width of 60.6 inches. If you wish to assemble your crate to a minimum width of 35.4 inches or have a width range of 35.4 and 45.5 inches, then you will be required to remove one side of wire panel in front panel B. To remove the wire panel, locate the front panel B and place it vertically with the top bar facing up and choose one of the two wire panels to remove. First, remove the two bolts and nuts located on top of the panel using a Phillips head screwdriver. After removing the bolts, remove the top bar. Then take off the one side of the wire panel from the front panel B. Place the wire panel aside and reattach the top frame back. Insert the bolts and nuts through the top frame and into the wire panel. Tighten the bolts using a Phillips head screwdriver. To have minimum width of 35.4 inches, you must place the front panel A and the front panel B parallel to one another. If you wish to have a width range of 45.5 inches and 60.6 inches, then you will have to leave both wire panels attached to the front panel B. After determining how long or how short you want your crate to be, you need to decide if you want to have the door panel on the left or right side of the crate. For installing the door on the left side of your crate, proceed to step 1.1. For installing the door on the right side of your crate, then you may proceed to step 1.2. After determining the width of the crate and side of door panel, we will now show you how to assemble your panels. Step 1.1 Installing the door on the left side of your crate. If you wish to install the door on the left side of the assembly, you may continue with this step. And if you wish to install the door on the right side of the assembly, then you may continue to step 1.2. Begin by locating the side panel A and placing it up vertically. Next, place the side panel A on the left side and attach both the back panel A and the front panel A to the edge of the side panel A. Please check the direction of the bolt holes on front panel A and place the front panel A with the door hole on the left side. The bolt holes have to face as shown. This is very important for assembly of this crate. To secure the panels, install long bolts through the top and bottom of the assembly and install the short bolts through the side as shown. First, install the flat washers, followed by the spring washers, and finally, followed by the bolts. Tighten the bolts using a Phillips head screwdriver. Repeat these steps for the bottom set and the opposite side. Do not over tighten the bolts. After all hardware has been tightly secured, locate the back panel B, the front panel B, and attach them both to the open end of the side panel B. Make sure the lock on the side panel B are facing outward, as shown. Repeat the previous steps from panels A and attach all three B panels together. The short bolts go on the side and the long bolts go on the top and bottom. Please check the direction of the bolt holes and sizes on front and back panel B, as shown. Once the left side panels A and the right side panels B are attached, the panel assemblies can be brought together for a full enclosure. To attach the panel assemblies, 
you may proceed to step 2. If you wish to install the door panel on the right side of the assembly, you may proceed to step 1.2. Step 1.2. Installing the door on the right side of your crate. Begin by locating the side panel A and placing it up vertically. Next, place the side panel A on the right side and attach both the back panel A and the front panel A to the edge of the side panel A. Please check the direction of the bolt holes on front panel A and place the front panel A with the door hole on the right side. The bolt holes have to face as shown. This is very important for assembly of this crate. To secure the panels, install long bolts through the top and bottom of the assembly and install the short bolts through the side as shown. First, install the flat washers, followed by the spring washers, and finally followed by the bolts. Tighten the bolts using a Phillips head screwdriver. Repeat these steps for the bottom set and the opposite side. Do not over tighten the bolts. After all hardware has been tightly secured, locate the back panel B, the front panel B, and attach them both to the open end of the side panel B. Make sure the lock on the side panel B are facing outward, as shown. Repeat the previous steps from panels A and attach all three B panels together. The short bolts go on the side and the long bolts go on the top and bottom. Please check the direction of the bolt holes and sizes on front and back panel B, as shown. Once the left side panels A and the right side panels B are attached, the panel assemblies can be brought together for a full enclosure. To attach the panel assemblies, you may proceed to Step 2. Step 2. Attaching the frames. We will continue the assembly video assuming the door would be installed on the left side. Begin Step 2 by locating the front and back panel assemblies that were assembled on Step 1. Push the assemblies together to the desired width. Slide the assemblies back and forward to adjust the width. Once you choose the proper width, you will install the provided bolts in the proper hole location. Next, attach the panel assemblies using a flat washer, a spring washer, and a short bolt on the following locations for a total of eight bolts. Insert the short bolt through the back panels first and then into the front panels as shown. Tighten the bolts using a Phillips head screwdriver. Do not over tighten the bolts. Repeat these steps and tighten all hardware on both sides of the crate. Once all hardware is tightly secured, step two is now complete. Step three, assembling the trays. Begin Step 3 by locating the upper and lower trays. The floor tray is designed to fit and expand with your expandable pet crate. So, depending on the width you choose your crate to be, the overlap position may be either closer together or further apart. The upper tray has a 2 marked on the bottom of the tray in the corner, while the lower tray has a 1 marked on the bottom corner. Take the upper tray and overlap it on top of the lower tray, firmly. Press the front row convex joint of the upper tray until both trays are fixed. Once the trays are attached, make sure to overlap more than two convex joints, two rows of grooves, as shown. Once the trays are connected, step three is now complete. Step four, attaching the door panel. Begin step four by locating the door panel. To attach the door panel, you will need to hook a total of four sliding latches onto the door panel starting with the upper two. The door panel has a front and back side. Make sure the sliding lock faces front and is attached on the correct front face of the panel. Push both sliding latches into position until you hear a click sound. This will indicate the sliding latch is secure. Next, attach both sliding latches onto the front panel. The front panel has a top and a bottom horizontal wire slat where the sliding latches hook onto. Hook each sliding latch into place and secure it until a clicking sound can be heard. After securing the top latches, proceed to hook the bottom latches 
to fully secure the door panel. Hook the remaining two sliding latches to the bottom horizontal wire slat and to the door panel until you hear a click sound. After the door panel is secured, place the previously assembled trays underneath the pet crate. Finally, slide the door back and forth to ensure it's properly installed. See the assembly manual for instructions on how to use your door and door lock. Congratulations! You have completed the assembly of the expandable pet crate. Before using your crate, ensure that all parts and hardware are tightly secured in accordance with the owner's manual. Enjoy your new Ritual Expandable Pet Crate! Brought to you by Ritual USA.